This is Midday Live. Let's start with our stories now. An office of the Chief Executive Office of the Tamale Teaching Hospital, Dr. Prosper Akambo Hat, has been opened 24 hours after a pro MPP group, Kandaha Boys, locked up the facility. Now, earlier, the Public Relations Office of the Hospital, Ahmed Farid, told TV3 the youth arrived at the facility around 2 p.m. Tuesday, February 22, 2017, claiming they had intelligence that some other youth group was planning to storm the facility and forcefully eject the CEO from his office. Now, Zubeda Ismail, our correspondent up north, has been following this story and she's going to give us some updates on what exactly has happened there regarding that very facility. Hello, Zubeda. Yeah, hello, Wendy. Good afternoon, Zubeda. Good afternoon, Wendy. Now, who gave the order for the facility to be opened? Um, um, at exactly 11.28, the office of the CEO of the company, the Dr. Prosper Akambon, was opened um, for use. Now, the operation, if I should call it, was led by two officials, female officials, the CID Department of the uh, uh, Ghana Police Service here in the northern region. Now, um, when the information I am taking uh, indicates that the keys to his office were returned to, I mean, was given to a sub chief whose name I, I, I'm yet to be given, and then this sub chief also um, um, released the keys to the police yesterday in the evening. And so this morning, when uh, Officers came, the PRO, that is Farid, arrived at the facility. He was told that um, the police had called earlier, that they could come and then get the keys. But according to um, the PRO, the CEO, Dr. Pastor Campbell, instructed that none of them should um, touch the key. They should actually let the police come, meet, and then come and open the office. And so that was exactly what the, 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 the PRO did. And so... The police, together with the PRO and then the chief security at the Tamale Hospital, um, Al Haji Baba Zakaria, um, opened the office and then the, the, the CEO made his first visit or entry in office after almost 48 hours of being locked out. Now, if you've been able to interact with um, the police, did they tell you if um, the vigilante group, any of them have been arrested, members of the group? Um, the police um, has not been forthcoming with information concerning those um, Kandahar boys uh, because they don't they are not arrest anybody and then the uh, ASP yesterday confirmed that they are yet to arrest and then uh, we don't know what is going on mm. with that. But what I can tell you is that um, the police have assured us or they are, I mean they keep telling us that we are going to make um, um, make some arrests and that they will probably invite these boys to question them as to why they had to lock up the office of the CEO. Okay. Now, finally, before I let you go, the, the closure of the office of the CEO and administrator affect healthcare delivery in any way? Uh, if I heard you well, you want to find out the... Yeah, hello, Wendy. So, wait, I'm asking if the closure of the offices of the administrator and CEO, did it affect healthcare delivery in any way, if you've been able uh, to speak to them on that? No, I've been here since yesterday. I was here the whole of yesterday. I've been here this morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I can also say is that uh, the closure didn't affect um, um, general uh, medical care. Mm -hmm. uh, patients have been at, I mean, at, attended to and they, they keep attending to patients. But just like yesterday, you could clearly see tension and anxiety written on the faces of the few management members who were around. And of course, on the faces of doctors who kept badging into the office of the deputy administrator, al Haji Tanko, asking of what was going on and what possible solution they could get to those uh, men. Well, thank you very much, Subeda Ismail. She's a one of our Northern Regional Correspondents, and she was giving us an update on the closure of the office of the Chief Executive Officer of the Tamale Teaching Hospital. And she told us that the office has been open 24 hours after a pro-NPP group, Kandahar Boys, locked up.